السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إن شاء الله تعالى we continue with the الإنابة which is to return to Allah سبحانه وتعالى with repentance and to continue to be in that state and the consistency and the steadfastness upon always returning to Allah سبحانه وتعالى Uh, and we talked about, you know, the uh, how to establish this inaba and uh, the levels of it, and that when a person says it's the state of return, that means a person is returning. When you return, you return from to from something to something else. So, but what it does, what does it mean to be in to be in state of return? That means when a person returns, there are things that pulls him back. To go back to where he comes from, but he keeps on pulling uh, opposite uh, force to keep on always being in that state of return. And that is the constant repentance and being devoted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the last part of uh, this chapter, as mentioned by Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, is the signs of al-Inaba. Signs of al-Inaba, one of these uh, signs that a person is in that state of return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, تَرْكُ الْإِسْتِهَانَةِ بِأَهْلِ الْغَفْلَةِ وَالْخَوْفُ عَلَيْهِمْ To stay away from belittling the people of heedlessness, the people of sins, and to fear for them. To fear for them and not to uh, belittle them or look down upon them. And at the same time, مع فتحك باب الرجاء لنفسك. And at the same time, you open the gate of hope for yourself. الرجاء. فترجو لنفسك الرحمة. So you hope for yourself the mercy of Allah. وتخشى على أهل الغفلة النقمة. And that you fear, you fear for those who are in sins and forgetfulness. You fear for them the punishment of Allah. ولكن نرجو لهم الرحمة. But also rather Hope for them to receive the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَخْشَ عَلَى نَفْسِكَ النِّقْمَةِ And fear for yourself the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is one of the signs of a person is in state of inaba, return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To, uh, not to belittle the people of sins uh, uh, and, and having the fear for them, uh, for the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because uh, they are instead of heedlessness and forgetfulness. And at the same time, you hope for the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for yourself. So, uh, and at the same time, you hope for them. So both hope and fear is for both sides. You hope for the people of sins, the mercy of Allah, and you fear for them the punishment of Allah. And you fear for yourself the punishment of Allah, and you hope for yourself uh, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you see how that is in equal levels like this. When it comes to other people versus oneself. And not to look at oneself as uh, someone that is, uh, you know, seeking just the rewards from Allah without fearing the punishment of Allah. Because when a person looks, when if a person is steadfast upon the deen of Allah, and he looks at those who are in state of sin or so, uh, the norm is that he would fear for them if he has kindness and goodness towards them. He fear for them the punishment of Allah. And when it comes to his own self, he hopes for the mercy of Allah because he thinks that he's doing good. And that's that's wrong. Unless a person is doing both al-khawf or raja for both sides. You fear for the others and you hope for them and you fear for yourself and you hope for yourself. And he says, فَإِن كُنْتَ لَبُدَّ مُسْتَهِينًا بِهِمْ مَا قِتًا لَهُمْ لِنْكِشَافِ أَحْوَالِهِمْ لَكْ If you have to, you have no choice but to kind of uh, that means not, not belittling them but looking down at the fact that they're committing sins because their affairs is exposed to you and you see what they're upon of the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you see that in them then فَكُنْ لِنَفْسِكَ أَشَدَّ مَقْتًا مِنْكَ لَهُمْ then be to yourself more belittling yourself than you are belittling them so if you have to belittle anyone, belittle yourself more. And I hope this is how these different levels is clear. The best is that a person fear for himself and hope for himself and fear for others and hope for others. 
And if a person has to look down upon someone, look down upon yourself more if you have to. Then you look down upon yourself more. وَكُنْ أَرْجَ لَهُمْ لِرَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ مِنْكَ لِنَفْسِكَ And as he said, and be even more hopeful for the, for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for them more than it's for yourself. And the meaning of arja here is not like you're asking for the mercy of Allah for them more than you ask for yourself, but you, uh, the hope for the mercy of Allah upon them is more than it is for yourself because you know yourself and you don't know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared for them. So uh, this is how to uh, put oneself in that state of being humble to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it comes to dealing with others. And then he uh, he quoted one uh, some of the salaf. They said, قَالَ بَعْضُ السَّلَفِ لَن تَفْقَهَ كُلَّ الْفِقْحِ حَتَّى تَمْقُتَ النَّاسَ فِي ذَاتِ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ تَرْجِعَ إِلَى نَفْسِكَ فَتَكُونَ لَهَا أَشَدَّ مقتا. Uh, this statement is uh, is amazing and only those who really have the understanding of the deen of Allah would understand the meaning of it and if uh, I translate it pay attention to when this is translated so that no one would ask afterwards does that mean this or that because you might can you can easily hear the first part and not hear the second part or the second part does not register in the same way that the first part is. So what am I talking about here? The statement of some of the Salaf. They said, you would not attain all the fiqh, all the knowledge and the understanding of the deen till you hate the people for the sake of Allah, meaning the sinners, the disbelievers and so on, that you would hate them for the sake of Allah if they are disbelievers, if they are committing sins, only for the sake of Allah. And then, you return back to yourself and you become more hated to yourself. We're talking here about the, 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 uh, this, this hate or so for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Would anyone hate himself? This is for the sake of Allah. That means when a person is upon ghafla, forgetfulness, when a person is up, you know, think of one's sins and uh, ungratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all of these types of things. So you are more concerned towards your own self. So you hate that from yourself so much more than you would do that for anyone else. And at the same time, you're supposed to, to be everything for the sake of Allah. So if you look down upon someone because of their sins, because of their disbelief, is you're not just doing it to, to yourself, or I'm sorry, you're not just doing it to others and to yourself, you're just praising yourself. As some people think, no. Uh, and this is how the al-wala wal bara becomes even in a perfect sense. People think, why would someone hate others for the sake of Allah? Well, it's the same thing. It's even more for oneself, for the sake of Allah. It's about disbelief, sins. It's not about an individual. It's not about what the person is. It's about his actions. And therefore, it's, of course, the person himself. So this is how a person would see the reality of the human beings. And this is the real fiqh and how the human beings are so much helpless and need and in need and weak and how they, uh, uh, you know, not fulfill the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the right way. And they turn to other than Allah and they give away the, the, the share that should be in them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the, with the, with the least amount of, of price, you know, and a person, He's supposed to be obedient to Allah and close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They give that away. They give that away with the cheapest thing ever, which is basically the immediate desire of this world. So if a person is like this, he has to have this disloyalty to whoever is upon this. That means to oneself. And if a person looks down, look at himself and how we are weak and deficient and so on, then he will be uh, treating himself the same way. And this is the real faqih. Uh, so therefore, a person would per do the best he can to perfect himself and at the same time not to have arrogance over others or think that he is better than others because Allah knows best who's going to be uh, at the end of his life or who's going to continue to be steadfast upon the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so on. So, uh, And that makes the person always watching his actions and his own nafs and to really differentiate between what's 
for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what's for oneself uh, desire. Even the ibadah, person would get uh, some self, uh, you know, um, uh, reward that he would feel as a result of the ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this can be confused when it comes to the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why there are so many different diseases and deficiencies that we can have in ourselves. So that's why the only one that is successful is the one that turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And then he says a person might do a deed where no one is seeing him, seeing him whatsoever except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but still the sincerity is not there because he's getting some, uh, some personal uh, satisfaction or so. When, and there's nothing wrong with that, with having a personal satisfaction, but to constantly seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be upon sincerity and purity of actions. And uh, the and he also puts something very uh, important here: the actions or al amal. There is a distance between one's actions and one's heart. That there is a distance, distance, a gap between one's actions and one's heart. And this gap, there are uh, robbers, or there are things or barriers or that can prevent the actions to reach the hearts. So that means a person can be doing so much good deeds, the actions, actions wise, he's doing so much good deeds, but nothing of these good deeds are reaching his heart. And what reaches the heart? The love of Allah, the fear of Allah, hope for the rewards from Allah, zuhd in this dunya, looking down at this dunya versus the hereafter. No zeal or attachment to the hereafter. No light that would uh, separate him uh, or make him among the those who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No light to make him see uh, and differentiate between awliyaullah, the righteous ones and the enemies of Allah. No light in his heart to, to make him see the, the difference between the truth and falsehood. No strength in his affairs because this is the effect of the actions in the heart. So why? Because there is again there is a gap between the action and the heart, and if the if the deeds and the effect of it reaches the heart, it would fill the heart, love of Allah, fear of Allah, hope for the Lord, and all of all of the things that are mentioned, and a person will be able to see the difference between the truth and falsehood, and so on. So this is important to make sure that the deeds are done for the sake of Allah, following the way the Prophet والسلام, and focusing so that. We get affected by these deeds and, and applying these actions of the heart so that it stays in the heart, meaning these deeds done by the heart with the physical actions. And the same thing between the heart and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, as you know, people might, pre, you know, the heart might be prevented of being close to Allah with arrogance, with liking oneself, with seeing so much the action as if it's something and forgetting the favors of Allah upon oneself, and things that are hidden. You know, so, uh, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. A person should not give up on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, you know, if, uh, if, if people are, uh, you know, they care for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they would want to make sure that this is all seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And never to uh, give up on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we had. But what, 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 would, what we need to give up on, that is to think that our actions will save us. We are only to be saved by the mercy of Allah. And the deeds are the reason for that. right? So we th therefore the person would be in need of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that a person would see that it's only the favor of Allah that made the person steadfast upon the deen of Allah. Right. So to see this and to witness that with one's heart and to see that we are in so much in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Shaykh Hussam Tamir rahimahullah he said, وَالْفَقْرُ لِي وَصْفُ ذَاتٍ لَازِمٌ أَبَدًا كَمَا الْغِنَى أَبَدًا وَصْفُ لَهُ ذَاتِ Which means al-faqr, to be in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like a faqir is one of the characteristics of oneself that never leaves us whatsoever. At all times we are in need of Allah. As al-ghina, or the, being the most rich, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is a characteristic and attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that never uh, leaves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means it's always there. 
So we are always in need of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never in need of anyone, but he's the most rich subhanahu wa ta'ala. So anything that good happens then for the person, he is grateful to Allah. It's all by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there's no one worthy of worship except him. And then uh, constantly working of having the effects of the deeds and, and, and removing this gap between the deeds and the hearts and removing the gap also between our hearts and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what gets the person to be close to Allah is to remove the arrogance and liking one's actions and uh, these types of things that prevents the person from being close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why a sujood is the closest position to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's the most humble position. And this is what Iblis, he refused to make sujood to Allah. And why? Because of the kibr, because of the arrogance. So the believers, when they increase their sujood, that means they increase their salah. This is what gets the person to be closer and closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is how to stay in the state of inaba and to be obedient to Allah and always in, being in state of return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, I hope it's clear. Uh, or, you know, if it's not, please let me know. Or if there's a part that you didn't understand, let me know, inshallah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us benefit, inshallah.